Hi, I'm Dr. Vamshi. I'm a consultant hand and upper limb surgeon associated with uh, Narayana Health. So today I'm going to speak uh, about uh, compressive neuropathy in the upper limb. So what is uh, compressive neuropathy? Uh, it's nothing but, you know, uh, we have three major nerves going through the upper limb. So they, they are uh, the tendency to get compressed or tightened at certain points in your upper limb. So the nerves could get compressed in your neck region, axilla region, elbow region, hand region. So what happens? So what if it gets compressed? So a lot of uh, our people who have this compressing neuropathy have symptoms of numbness or tingling sensation or you know relating pain to, to the entire hand, especially worse during work or uh, you know it wakes them up from sleep. So it can be very disturbing to go on with your daily activities. So what do you do when we when we see a patient with uh, these complaints? So normally we assess them entirely. We check for the nerves of all the all the nerves of the hand to see which nerve is causing the problem, and then we try to focus on a single nerve. So once we have a, a focus on a single nerve, then we investigate. So how do you investigate? One is of course, uh, as I said, by clinical examination. And then we could order some nerve tests, what we call as a nerve conduction study, and sometimes even an ultrasonography to study the nerve. So once we have a diagnosis of a particular nerve being compressed, then what do we do? So we start with conservative management or you know non-surgical management. That is, you know, we advise patients to you know use some kind of a belt, for example, a carpal tunnel where the nerve is pressed here. We give them a belt which can be worn at night or an elbow splint. So, you know, by that, the pressure on the nerve is reduced. And we also have some therapy protocols we call as a nerve gliding exercises so that, you know, nerve is allowed to move so that, you know, it becomes free and the patient can be symptom free. Of course, with some medication to nourish your nerve and reduce the sensitivity of the nerve. So once these, these set of treatment fail, then we go for the next level. That is what is the next level. We also could go to the extent of giving an injection like a steroid closer to the nerve where it's getting compressed. And a lot of people do have a permanent recovery with this or you know some patients may be okay for a couple of months and then they come back. Then the last resort, or last option would be a surgical intervention. That is when uh, our major role is you know we go to the exact location of the nerve and we free the nerve completely. And it's a very short procedure, what we call as a daycare procedure. That is, you know, the, the patient is called in the morning, goes through the procedure and returns home by evening. And, uh, uh, and they'll be symptom free immediately. And of course, they can get back to their work within a week or two weeks. So whenever you have a signs of numbness, tingling or pain relating to your hand or fingers, you always think about a compressive neuropathy. It could be because of your underlying problems or it could be because of your occupational. So you can always see a, a nearby hand surgeon who can evaluate these problems for you and order a necessary investigation and of course advise appropriate treatment.